so we <clears throat> So welcome back guys so um now let's start by creating the main content which is the home content so if you notice we have three cards here or should we say three containers the first one is um, a little details about me then the stage box with the main content and this so when you say design like this the first thing you would probably do is Think of this as containers, right? I can decide to use CSS Flex here. All I need to do is to create three divs. I set it to a display of flex. You understand? I set it to a display of flex. Once I set it to a display of flex, I will probably give this one like um, 10%. Then give this probably, um, let me see, 80%, then this 10%. Or give this 15 15 you know 17 you get so that is what we are going to do now so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that so let's go to the home component which is this and create three cards okay so we'll call this um, Div dot home page cards. Okay. So I'll probably want to create this as components, but because this is just a demo website, if it's a real life project, I would have created at this set this um, left con container as a component. This is another component, and this should be another component. You understand but i realized that this is not actually reusable because it only appeared on the home page so i see no much reason to do that so let's just go ahead and create our three tips so i'll call this um on page c o l one Okay. So, as I said earlier, the way I love doing things, if you have a better way of um, managing your CSS, which you can continue using that method, but I prefer using this method or using styled components. You understand? So let me create another CSS file called home.css. So in case in, in the future I want to change anything on the home page, I already know that where I need to go is in the home.css file. Okay. So let's copy this and take it here and give this a display of flex okay then let's call this out what is this this is the color one which is the left container and put this here and probably give it a weight of um, let me say 10% mm -hmm. okay we talk probably um, 70 20 so 70 18 90 100 which makes 800 percent of its parent container so let's give all these colors let's see what is okay they didn't use white white 
So let's just use white like this. You can use RGBA values if you want to. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, nothing will show because we didn't apply height to this. But let's give them something like for now 200 pixel. Then later we can adjust it, add our scroll bar and make and remove all these heights that we are adding to it. Okay, so we won't be able to identify the space. We won't be able to identify it like this because we have set this children con children content as hundred percent of its parents. So because of that, we won't be able to see it. So what we we'll probably do is um, we'll take this and make it probably sixty seven percent. Make this 67 or 65. Let's leave at 65. So set this to justify content space between to create space in between each container. So to share the available space in between all this container. You can see it right. Okay, perfect. So after doing that, I think this card is too big, so and this is too small. So we still need to share this. This should be the size of this. Yeah. So let's set this to um, 25. Twenty-five. Set this to probably 30. Five. And set this to maybe see what we have oh sorry okay is this 25 Value to 25. Ninety should be okay. Mm, okay, let me see LinkedIn. This card, this space is bigger than this. And in the space between. So let's first of all set this. To, okay. So maybe um, 20, 30, okay, I think this is what we want, let's increase this by 45, okay, I think this is okay, right, yeah it is. Let's just give all this 120 pixels. So remember, um, once I add, once I add a scroll to this, that will stop here, so the user can just scroll and stop here, but there will still be a scroll. You, you understand? I don't know if I'm making sense, but there will be a scroll by the end of the day that will be able to control this. If you remember, what we gave this was 100% viewport height. You understand? So we'll set the container later in the future that anything that overflows this container should scroll. You understand so right now let's just set height to this later we are going to surely take it out and make it dynamic okay so I don't know where this white space is coming from but I need to inspect to see that so it's a padding the padding is coming from main wrap okay 
let me give you maybe 20 pixel top. Um, I need to separate this so I'll see it very well. Okay. 20 pixel top. Then 50 pixel, 20 pixel, 50 pixel. Right? Is that okay? Okay, so let's take this. This is, is this perfect? This should be zero because I don't want any padding on the left. Top, left, bottom, right. Okay, zero. Okay, this is perfect. So let's go to main wrap and change this. Let's go to main wrap. This is main wrap and I'll copy this. Okay, so let's look at LinkedIn if this space. Okay, I think LinkedIn has more space. Okay. No problem, we'll probably just this is the top because we read it clockwise. Okay, I think this is okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we have our layouts. You understand? We have our three cards. Remember when we scroll to a specific part, which would require some JavaScript, this we need to set this fix using CSS. So we have to do some calculation to know where the user scroll view is. So guys, this is I guess our third tutorial on creating a LinkedIn clone. So on, on the next video, we'll go ahead and design this card. We'll go ahead and design this card. Then after that, we we'll design this and this, and to we'll literally be done with the home page. Then we can now come back to the nav bar and finish all this up, so we can have our home page 100% done. Then by the end of this tutorial, I will search for the font used on LinkedIn, Vi Font Finder on Font Finder extension on Chrome. I'll be able to know the font used by LinkedIn and search for the font on Google Fonts so our website could look just like LinkedIn. So with that, be, with that being said guys, thank you for sticking with me to the end of this particular tutorial. So see you on the next tutorial.